Hey y'all, Jill here with Hillbilly Jilly's Garden, canning, recipes, a little bit of everything. We have a treat for you. This is a delicious hash brown casserole. Hash browns are a staple in the South as well, and uh, we love to eat our potatoes. So what we have here is about uh, four pounds of dried hash browns that were hydrated for 15 minutes in warm water. This is what they looked like before. We also have um, a half a cup of onions. We have about a, a 13 or a small can of cream of chicken soup. We have two cups of grated American cheese. We have a half a teaspoon of salt and pepper. And we have a full stick of butter here that's melted. And we have a pint of sour cream. This is a delicious, delicious part to any dinner that you may have, especially barbecue. Stay tuned. Again, we're using dehydrated uh, hash browns, but you can uh, slice them up or grate them up uh, from your potatoes, or you can get the uh, frozen kind that are in the frozen food section or the cold food section at your grocery store. But uh, we like the dehydrated ones because they last a lot longer. We have our nine by 13 uh, Pyrex dish here. We've had buttered it up so it's not gonna stick. We're gonna add our potatoes first. Then next, we're gonna add the butter. And you want to fold everything in because your potatoes are uh, sensitive and we don't want them to break apart. We want them to maintain uh, their integrity and their, and their shape. So now we're just gonna start putting everything in here. Here's our pint of sour cream. Mix it up real good. This is one of our most favorite recipes. We are a uh, potatoes and meat kind of family. And after we mix this up, we're going to add our uh, cream of chicken soup. We have a, a little barbecue business that we do on the side, and we have done this hash brown casserole many times for catering and uh, for events, and people go crazy over it. So we're sure that you will too. And we're gonna put it in the oven on 325 degrees for about 40 or 45 minutes. So here we go. Look at that deliciousness heating up away. We got about 10 more minutes. We're gonna bring them out. We're gonna show you what they look like. Oh, I wish you could taste them. Here's the finished product, folks. I don't think you can get any yummier than that. Look at that. This is Hillbilly Jilly's Hash Brown Casserole. Thank you for watching. If you like what you see, we ask that you subscribe to our channel. Take care and God bless.